one of the funniest things about life is say, no matter how you busy rich, you not get how work full your hand, you must find time to pause and to eat. Then I to tell you the importance of food. This na kitchen matter and our work now to see how to cook different, different kinds of food, both local and continental. Today, we live for Dakota restaurant, when they for number 204, Obiwali Road, Rumigbo, for inside Port Harcourt, River State, Nigeria. And today, we they take them all the way to Igbo land. The food we want to cook today na abacha. Not be just ordinary abacha, oh. abacha amplified. <laughs> so you've never had abacha before, but this one is abacha amplified. It's called African salad. Yes. And uh, I didn't have kitchen already. So this time, my chef could come join me and she could show us how to prepare our bacha amplified. My name now, Kimote. Not touch your TV. I did say PG. You should not share me. Still on the matter, kitchen matter. I just thought you said it for kitchen and my chef don't join me. Mrs. Undu DC. And uh, of course, our batch amplified knife we will prepare today. You know, you tell me to see that batch amplified. At least I don't hear about batch. But the amplified version. You never hear? I never hear. Of okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you why I call them my batch amplified. Yes. Abacha is a simple snack in uh, the Igbo speaking areas of Nigeria. Mm. It's very fast, five, ten minutes, you're done with it. African salad. African salad or tapioca. Some people call it tapioca. But why I'm calling this abacha amplified is another higher level of abacha. Hey, because you. you have kandan, we have stock fish, and we also have fish inside. inside. So as we go mix them inside, you go to chop small, you go to eat one thing. That's why it's amplified. So the difference between this ab normal abacha and abacha amplified, now the things when you say the garnish. Just add inside to garnish and where where. Oh, okay. Enough things to cause traffic. So our ingredients now. This are the abacha already. Yes. This is the abacha. Mm. This is the dry part of the abacha that we normally see in the market. Okay. Then this one here, because of the cost of the program, we have washed it. So we don't wash them. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look this abacha, you go see say it they different from the normal abacha way they see market sellers they carry the waka. So it's different to this one and that one. Now, this kind of abacha is called abacha achi. Abacha achi. Yes, is it is a different? I think it has to do with the process. And you can see that the abacha is uh, dry. Mm. It's not the long type. Mm. It's dry and it's it's one one. In the scatter. Yes. So why did they make a make it be like this? Make it not this sticky. They scatter like this. Okay. Now normally um, a lot of people make that mistake of using hot water to oh. wash the abacha. And if you use hot water uh, to wash the abacha, it makes it sticky and still soft. But for this one, I use normal cold water you can actually use cold water or you can use very lukewarm water mm, let me water when not too hot yes when not too not too, too too hot so that the abacha no good day salt and when you don't wash and finish wash them several times because the people where they do them they keep them for fewer because of dust and mm. sand you go wash them several it times well make well. it clean well well then you go put them for sitter or some people they call them sitter some people they call them sieve make the water drain well well so when the water don't drain, it go come day one one like this. Mm. Now we see me come in there like this. We don't already wash them. So this is the dry one. That one you already wash. wash so yes. this one will take cook the food. Yes. Eh, we don't already. And then now this is my ogiri. Okay, ogiri. Some people know I'm as that thing where they, they put for wrap, where they smell very very well. It they smell, but I think they smell now. So in the good for food. Get power. Yes, you get power. So the taste. It's very nice. If you don't get uh, ogiri, mm. if you make the abacha like that, but something you miss. You this is not the main, the main cocoa for this abacha. You're the king of the abacha now. Man is the abacha itself now, ogiri. Yes, ogiri. Okay. Gives it a nice taste. Now we have stockfish. Stockfish. We're using the ear of stockfish. If you don't get stockfish here, anyone where you get, as your hand reach, my brother and sister, you use that. Stockfish ear? Ear. Now would they use? Okay. Because at least you get flesh well well. Okay. Then we have crayfish. Mm. 
No matter fish. No matter fish. Then we get small spices or seasoning where we go put inside. For taste. Yes. This is another place where people they do mistake. People go they wonder what if be this thing where I put inside yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. For the people where they do this abacha. This na ungo. Ungo. We call them ungo. You can either use ungo or you can use ncha. That is why they call it at times in uh, the Anambra people call it abacha ncha because of what they use inside. So for now, I'm using ungo. We have can uh, the kanda. The kanda. Our amplified ingredient. <laughs> the kanda has been seasoned. We do already wash them. Baboy lamb. Mm. Use small uh, seasoning, spice it does they taste it for okay. mouth. Then here we have uh, garden egg leaf. This is actually the garden egg. Okay. The fresh garden egg. This is the garden egg leaf. Who we'll eat it like raw? That. Yes. Mm. We're actually going to use it for garnishing. Then we have our onion. Already cut. Already chopped, chopped onions. This is also the onion uh, ring for garnishing. Then we also have oziza. Oziza. Yes. This oziza is just for garnishing. It's optional. Some people use oziza, some people use otazi. Otazi. Yes. Depends on the one you want to use. Mm. Then we also have fresh pepper here. Yellow or red pepper. But for the people that make abacha, um, people use dry pepper. The essence of using this dry pepper is that once you're mixing this abacha mm. and you add fresh pepper, mm. it has a way of making the paste to be a little bit watery. Okay. So normally in the villages, they don't use fresh pepper. They rather dry prefer pepper. dry pepper to maintain that uh, consistency of the paste. Okay. Then, um, tomato. tomato is just for garnishing. Okay. This is another spice that is very, very um, essential. It's mm. called the eruru or ehuru depending on the dialect. So it's Eruru spice or Eruru. I'm sure most of us see it in the markets. It has a nice, it's just to add taste. It has a sharp taste, very nice taste. Then this is our palm oil, our local palm oil for the abacha. This Eruru, is they inside, they open on small? They, they open, I mean, they they inside one small round knot that they have to break open. With teeth? Yes, with teeth. Mm, calabash not make. Yes, something like that. Okay. So, we are ready to make our bacha, but we'll start first by parboiling our fish so that we don't waste time. So, I'll put the fish on fire. So, like how many minutes you go take once you this food? 10 minutes, Ten maximum. Minutes. Okay, not that. Our bacha and I'm going to parboil my fish. Mm. For some people, they don't like parboiling the fish. It depends on the one you want. If you don't want to parboil the fish, you can just fry, like just fry it. Use salt, which well, is what I'm going to add what now. What is the difference between the one where you boil first? It's in the, the taste. The taste. Yes, it's just the method. Anyone, you can decide to parboil a little bit. It's faster because once it's already parboiled, you just fry straight. Mm. But if the fish is not parboiled, and it's just spice for marinated. You have to use low heat. Marinated, this is the That's just the act of uh, adding spices and allowing it overnight or for some hours so that the so spice calm. soak away. Well, well. Yeah. So if you do it like that, because they never done parboiling before, you have to use low heat so that the fish go down well, well. But if you want to do sharp, sharp fry, you go parboiling first before you fry the fish. You and I'm waiting at one do. You don't let that one. So now, I'm adding small salt to mm. the fish. Okay. A little bit of onions. Okay, onions first. Okay. okay. Just a few spoons will be fine. Two cubes of my seasoning. Fresh pepper. Fresh pepper. Yes. Okay. 
going to start. We're going to start with our oil, palm oil. The good thing about um, our bacha is that um, since we are using ungo, mm. remember we're using ungo. You can see it's changing color. Okay, just a little bit. So what next? I will turn it. You will turn it for like how long? Just as long as it makes. Okay. You can see? The Come oil is see. now thick. Mm. Mm. So the stem, the stem. The stem. Okay. Now we add a little bit of the onion Inside. for taste, yes. So we don't go pound anything, just to stir everything. No, just to stir. Oh. Even the onions is optional, that's okay. why it's amplified. Oh. In the villages, really they don't onions. add onions, they just do it straight with pepper and a little bit of salt, maybe a little bit of crayfish. So what's in your food now? Fresh pepper. I told you, you'll see the difference now. When you add fresh pepper, mm. it makes the paste to be a little bit watery. Okay. So but I just like the taste of, of the fresh, the pepper, fresh pepper. That's why I add it. Normally you can use dry pepper. Alright, let me see now. Since it's getting a little bit watery. That's the effect of the fresh pepper. Inside. Inside. That's why in the villages they don't use fresh pepper, they use dry pepper. pepper. Yes. Okay. Mm. The next is our powerful ogiri. Mm, the So when you buy with like this, you already didn't prepare like this. Yes. You actually buy it in wraps. Okay. Okay. Then you stir it. Does it add more? No, we have to taste it. Some people don't like ogiri, some people like ogiri, so it depends. So, who not like ogiri fish say no go join with ogiri? Yeah, but it doesn't give you that taste, but you can add a little bit. The next is the crayfish. Crayfish. Okay. The cube. Okay, so it's many. How many? Two. I need the smallest one. Now, I see why they call out African salad. Because no matter salad, you need to cook anything. Yes. Now, different, different vegetables you just mix. This is a different vegetable. Natural ingredient. And we don't mix. African salad. So, my mortar of food is not like I'll use one here. Okay. Or one and a half. One and a half. I'll use this half later. Okay. Let me see how to spoon. I'll just add a little seasoning. Just a little. So if you use any particular seasoning, they're still good. They're still good. Okay. Mm. Now it's time to mix this apacha. Okay. The local way we use ham to mix the apacha, so you mix it very well. Whether we need to add more quick fish or any other seasoning or even the ogiri. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The abacha is almost ready. Mm -hmm. okay. Now we are going to the amplified level. Okay. 
All right. Timothy, I think you can help us out. Okay. One spoon of oil to that pot. Okay. okay. The onion. Onion. Yeah, onion. not the round one. I can use this. Ready chopped one of it? Yes, the ready chopped one. All the chopped onion. Okay, the onion one. Yeah. Garnish it. I'm stirring it. Okay. One cube of seasoning. Okay. Okay, just add the seasoning mm. and allow the onions to fry a little bit. Let's say two minutes. Then you add the chopped candle. And stay. That's why it's amplified. Mm. Okay. So we have the two elements now: this pork fish, yes, the kanda. Okay. Then we're going to add the stock fish. Okay. To the oil. Mm. I go soak up. Yes. I go scatter and put small small. Yeah, we can leave this for garnishing okay. while we break the rest into tiny bits. No. Okay. But we can add a little bit of dry pepper. Just a little bit. to add the abacha. So this one now? Yes. For the normal abacha, um, in the villages, they eat it this way. Uh -huh. But for the abacha amplified, we'll fry it. we're going to warm it a little bit. So, we're going to add it to the pot to make it a little bit warm. So start. Um, I'm sure people will be wondering uh, why am I not? Are you sure this thing is not for Unkwabi? The one for Unkwabi is a smaller one. This is different. This is for Abata. Okay. That's the difference. Okay. So, since we are going local, mm. we are going to dish it. You can help me with this. Okay. So. Like I told you in the villages, they don't bother to do this. They just get it straight from the mortar. So, this is my abacha. Okay. Okay. Abacha amplified. Abacha amplified. While, um, all the proteins with all the side. protein and stuff, oh. I still have to put the fish So let's try our fish on the boil now. Yes. We can also use dry fish. Mm. Some people like it with dry fish, but I prefer mine with um, fried. Um, so when be the best, this abacha now, when be the best time to eat some? Do keep them for long after you prepare them? Yeah, yeah, because we are not using uh, potash, this can actually stay. So, we are going to now do our garnishing. We already have our onions. Mm. So while we are waiting for the fish, to we'll design the food, just to garnish it.
can remove the inside okay. of the tomato so that mm. it doesn't spoil it with the water. Okay. Now this is the time we're going to use the garden egg leaf. Mm. Fresh like this. Fresh, ready washed. Because it's a vegetable, we use salt to, to wash, wash it just to make sure that it's safe for consumption. Then I'm also going to add this, our normal garden egg we are all used to. Any market if it's on by. Yes. For garnishing. For garnishing. Hey. You can see why it's called African, okay. African salad. salad. So people like mixing it inside. Wow. Now zoom in the fish. Mm. Remain small. Okay. okay. This is our amplified apacha. African salad with pami. Oh, you need to get my shoes right now. Now, nah, pami, they make and go down. Where, where? I don't think they tell us me right now. But you know, we are for the for this one. Dakota Restaurant, 204, Obi Wali Road, Room Nibo, inside Portaco River State, Nigeria. Thank you to you, Mrs. NBC, for your time. And then, uh, yes, for hosting us today. Okay. That's the kitchen matter with this. And you know where you fit in all these things now for the show. We'll go show again next week with another correct food. You want to know the food? Then tune in next week. And uh, we'll catch my name. Now, can you say, I'm going to my food now. Bye bye. <laughs> mm.